Hello dear friends, today I'll do a video on Kingdom of Pirates, a walkthrough and give you some hints to get used to the game and be very efficient. First of all, you can choose uh, between three different types of scenarios. One is the Caribbean, the other one are the Vikings and finally the Middle East. I typically prefer to either play the Caribbean or the Vikings as I will do in this video now. Once you have selected amongst those three types of scenarios, you can also select your hero, whichever you like most. So I typically like this one pretty well and also you can define your name here, for example something like this. You can change that later but only once, Other, if you want to change it several times it costs a lot of diamonds. So now the game starts and at the beginning it's pretty much um, a demo, um, so you do not have a lot of options, you just need to follow and click um, to advance in the storyline. I will quickly click through, you can take your time and read the text, but for sake of the video lengths I will quickly click through now. So there's a concept of maidens. This is Martha Gustav, one of your first maids that you will get assigned to your pirate hero. And, and then you can also click on skip to take a shortcut here. So now this dragon flies to this island and one of your first tasks is to create a um, um, stronghold on this island. So land on an island and build your empire. Okay, so we click here and you get silver and this currency as well, which if you click on it, it's called infamy. So this is an important currency in the game. So good job. We got our first money and infame currency. We can skip the text and now we have to build our flagship. So we simply click on build and quest complete. So that was our first quest. And now we have created a flagship level one. And we can collect the money for completing the quest, which is 10k silver and another 1k of infame currency. So now there's also the concept of a world map. So it's an overview map and over time you will need to um, discover various places in this world map. So the first one obviously is the Baltic Sea. So we build an outpost in the Baltic Sea. Quest is completed and we get the reward for completing this quest. Skip the dialogue. And now intimacy has increased, that's also good. You want to have a high intimacy with your mates. And now we need to recruit um, people. So tap 10 times. You see here, now we have eight, nine, 10. So now the quest is complete and we can exit from this interface and collect the rewards for completing this quest. Skip the dialogue and go back to the home. And now here you see our dock and now it's time to upgrade our dock um, to the next level. And now we have a longship level two, which creates more bonus and more infamy. Collecting the reward, skip and now construct another outpost in the North Sea. So we build our second outpost, collect the reward, and again we need to recruit 10 people on this outpost. So click here 10 times or 11 times, it doesn't really matter. 
because we will get further quests to recruit more sailors over time anyway. And now a concept of this wanted dead or alive thing. So now by doing the first couple of quests um, we are an, a really dangerous pirate and the reward has been increased to 2 million gold for whoever catches us. So that's the main concept of increasing the reward by becoming stronger and stronger. And now we need to show our love to Martha, so we click on the maiden's room and click on Martha, visit her, and then there's the concept of giving gifts, so we can click here several times, two times, and then it says quest completed, we can exit this interface, collect the reward, and that's it. Typically you should not do much more things than the quests suggest, at least not at the beginning. Now we should interact with Martha, so we go again here, click again on Martha, visit her, and interacting means, for example, tapping on her face. And that's it, quest completed, exit this interface, and that's it. And now we got some nice reward, which is a silver hourglass, that gives a large amount of silver, which is needed desperately uh, in the course of this game. 40k silver on top, skip the dialogue, and now move to the map, go to the Baltic Sea, and we can now assign uh, a pirate to the Baltic Sea, for example our main character, um, which increases the plunder bonus. So now we get 60% additional income. So you see the plunder rate here. It's 504 per second. And, and that's good. So this quest is done as well. Skip the dialogue. Acquire the next pirate. So here we can recruit the next pirate, Gunhild, confirm and collect the reward. And now we should assign her to the North Sea Outpost. So we click on the North Sea Outpost and we also see here the plus sign with the red circle which indicates that we can assign any of our pirates that uh, ideally one that is not yet assigned. So we suggested here we use Gunhild and again our plunder bonus gets increased the outpost income is increased by 10% by assigning Gunhild plus 10% and the plunder rate now is 520 and here you see our total silver and you see it's increasing every second because of assigning those pirates to these outposts And by doing this again, now our wanted dead or alive bonus has increased to 3 million. And with that also the cap for max sailors has increased from 20 to 30. We will see that later what that really means. For the moment we just follow the quest as suggested by this intro. So now we should upgrade the flagship, so we click on this quest, move to the home tab and on the dock and as you remember uh, our flagship currently is on level 2 and by clicking here it now gets upgraded to level 3 and again we see the plunder rate has increased. At times there is some more or less interesting or not so interesting information about achievements from our other players so you can either ignore them, read them or click them away. So we have upgraded this and now we should recruit 20 sailors for our Baltic Sea outpost, so let's do that. And at the beginning this really means clicking here quite often until this number goes up to 20, so four more times. Now we are 20, quest complete, and then we can close this interface, collect the reward, and we should do the same for the North Sea outpost as well. Recruit here until the number of sailors goes up to 20, quest complete, 
collect the rewards and that's it we can skip this send roses okay so we should show our love to Martha so we have to visit her again we know already how to do it and now again click on the gift and send her um, increase the intimacy to her by clicking on this button twice and then the quest is completed so we had to gift her twice and now the prologue has been finished so we basically finished our first chapter of the storyline and moved to chapter one prologue was done and can now start with chapter one so now it gets a bit more challenging new chapter we can collect the reward for completing the prologue as we can see here, and claim all the rewards so diamonds um, refreshing card okay we come to that later silver hourglass and prestige which is needed to recruit pirates at the tavern collect the rewards and again our bounty has increased to 4 million and a new feature has been unlocked we will see that quickly dispatch two pirates so now we can select Gunhild as well quest completed and now our first real battle so we just click on sale it, in the beginning it's all automatically done no need to do a lot of fancy stuff here you can just watch the animation there's a counter of pearls that is increased but for the moment we can ignore it it becomes interesting once you reach 100 pearls so currently we are at three pearls so there's still time to wait and then there's some encounters so now there's a warning coming up and we can challenge this uh, encounter this opponent and again it all happens automatically at the beginning unfortunately we have to watch it later we will be able to click on skip but only after we have completed stage 1-5 so for the moment relax get a cup of coffee enjoy and watch the animation so basically our pirates fight against the opponent and we were victorious which is good news that is to be expected and also here we see a red circle which typically is an indication of where we can collect rewards so let's do that click this away and collect the rewards for completing stage 1-1 skip the dialogue and now we are supposed to acquire a level 10 pirate so we have to click on the pirate and level him up so we see his level here now he's at 2 and we are supposed to level him up to 10 so let's do that click there 10 times quest completed and skip the dialogue and now we are supposed to upgrade an outpost to level 2 as you can see we have started at level 1 there's an upgrade tab here we simply click there and by upgrading the outposts our income bonus will increase the multiplier is applied to the plunder rate so that the higher the level the more the higher the uh, income of this outpost and you need a minimum of sailors assigned to this outpost in order to be able to upgrade the outpost so here the minimum required of sailors is 20 and as you recall we just upgraded to 20 sailors for this outpost so we are good here and now he, by clicking here it costs some money to do so but clicking here will upgrade this outpost to level 2 and by doing so again now our bounty is increased to 5 million which is good because again our sailor caps get increased and also the max pirate level collect the rewards skip the dialogue and interact with Marta again so you see these kind of automatic quests come in a periodic pattern 
and after a while you will realize what is the order and that's why I said don't do stuff that you're not supposed to do yet because maybe at a later stage the quest comes up and then you run out of uh, options to do whatever is needed. So just as a general advice do the bare minimum. So here okay so the level is 15 so that's the maximum for the moment and we can also increase our second pirate to level 15. Done. And that is completes the quest because we should increase two pirates to level 15, collect the rewards and now increase our plunder rate. So that's tricky. Increasing the plunder rate means it's shown here our total plunder rate. So we currently we have 7508 per second and uh, plunder rate can be increased for example by increasing the number of sailors. So let's just click on the Baltic Sea outpost and recruit a few more people here. Let's say we go from 20 to 30 and that should already do the trick as was indicated here by the quest completed indication. And plunder rate by this has been increased. We get the rewards for completing the quests. And now the next quest is to raise our bounty to 6 million doublons. And this can be done on the upper left. On this icon here you just click on upgrade and if all the requirements are met it will automatically go from 5 million doublons to 6 million. So and here's another red circle so we can click here as well to collect some reward. We can claim this, click this away and there's also some reward here that we can claim some 10 diamonds which are always nice and handy to have and um, skip the dialogue and collect the reward. So now we are supposed to acquire the pirate Catherine in the tavern so we click on the tavern on the rumors tab and go to the recruitment and then simply click on buy Catherine. Here's various things that we can buy for the moment. We just go with Catherine and it costs 10 of these things that luckily we do have already. So Catherine plus one, quest completed and we got another pirate added into our stocks. Plunder rate is also looking good. Uh, we could 30 sailors to the North Sea, so I have to click here again until it has increased to 30. Later you can click uh, select this uh, tab here, but for the moment it's not possible. The bounty needs to reach 15 million before we can enable this feature, which allows us to recruit 10 soldiers, sorry, sailors uh, with one click. So that's obviously a bit more convenient than doing those lots many of clicks. So now we are supposed to caress Martha so obviously we have to click on Martha and then click on the caress button here and can confirm quest complete. So now we do some type of interaction with our mate and can click on these three hearts which increases intimacy and charisma so that's always good. So you see the values of the maiden here. So this for example is the intimacy level 21 at the moment. This one is the maiden XP and this one is the charm. The higher the charm the more maiden XP will be obtained after you caress the maiden. And here also you can collect some, open some rewards and collect them. Good! So that looks good. Random date. Okay, since it's not a quest yet, we won't do it for the moment. We keep this stuff for later because it will become a quest soon. And if we do it, then it will not be possible to do it once required. But what is required now is to upgrade our dock. So we do that. We follow the guidance from the quest line. Quest is completed. And 7 million bounty. 
um, dispatch three pirates so click on the pirates tab and assign the third pirate dispatch our third pirate so that we will be able to assign this third pirate to any of our outposts as needed so dispatching is a prerequisite before you can really assign pirates to any outposts and now we are supposed to do the fight on 1-2 but before we do that let's have a quick look and see at the level of our pirates 15 and we can simply check if that's the maximum by clicking here as we can see it's not the maximum so we can simply go click as often uh, until we reach the maximum and we will do the same thing for our second pirate level 25 and we will do the same thing with our third pirate and I can press and hold it will automatically increase and now we run out of doublons which is not a problem because it's already at level 25 so that looks good and now we can do the quest as required which means to complete stage 1-2 so we click on sale here and basically in this game we need to balance all the resources so as you can see at times we need silver at times we need uh, to increase our bounty bonus avoid click here this these events are typically random type at least the outcomes are random type so you cannot really do anything wrong click whatever suits your needs it's random anyway um, and now we can click on here this is interesting you should always aim at having a higher strength than the boss strength which is the case now because we just increased all pirates to maximum level 25 so now we have double the strength of the boss which is obviously a good thing to have so we will very easily win this fight easily and quickly and also the fight becomes cheaper the more strengths we have so those are all good arguments why you should boost your strengths always to the maximum before going into any of these encounters as i mentioned earlier unfortunately it's not possible to skip so we have to watch this animation to the end but after stage 1-5 we can use this skip feature which makes things a bit quicker so don't forget to collect the reward for this successful fight and now acquire two level two outposts so we need to upgrade this nasty outpost by clicking here on upgrade quest completed And now the bounty increases to 8 million doublons. Feature unlocked, daily quests and black market. Okay, so new features have arrived or have been unlocked, which is good. First, we need to show our flair to Martha, visit her and click on gifts and give her uh, one or two roses. And then exit this interface. claim the achievement award so here on this top where it says rewards you can claim all your achievements for example find treasures or here on the achievements tab there's also some things you can claim so claim all of them until there's nothing more to claim there we go and then don't forget to also collect the chest here and now let's go back to the previous tab and also claim all the stuff here which a counter each time you accomplish an achievement this counter will get increase and once you have reached certain limits these chests will also get unlocked so don't forget to collect the rewards from the chest as well and also these achievements give you an idea of what you could do in case you don't know what to do in this game just work through this list um, to get those to unlock those achievements um, again we need to upgrade this pirate to level 30 so let's do that quest complete and now it says complete stage 1-3 so before we do that I typically 
increase um, the level of all pirates to the maximum level. So 30, 30 and also the third pirate should be at maximum level 30. So now all our pirates are at maximum strength and we can do this third thing, which actually is not a fight. So in, in this case it was <laughs> useless, but um, we can still use the higher strengths um, because the costs are reduced. As I mentioned earlier, the higher your strengths, the cheaper the interaction. This one is a fortune of uh, wheel of fortune. So you can just spin, obviously it costs some silver to spin and then you have either times one, times two or times three multiplier and then wherever the wheel stops you get different awards like pearls, diamonds, gold or silver. And you need to click to spin five times. You see each time uh, you click on spin the next chest gets uh, marked with this multiplier that was achieved. And now we have a multiplier of two the wheel spins and what do we get? The silver hourglass and the last time you have to spin. The multiplier is one, quest is completed and we get this card. And once we have done it five times, we see a summary of all the achievements. So the last one was an elite recruitment order. Okay, so and also we can collect the reward here close this window and move on. And this con completes the chapter one, which is good because completing chapter always unlocks rewards as well and starts and triggers this the next chapter, which gives better rewards. So we can click here to collect the rewards from chapter one, which is this, some diamonds, and claim the reward for completing stage 1-3. Our plunder rate is already at the required level, which is good. And now a new feature we are supposed to bid in the black market. So we simply click here on cotton and bid and we are supposed to bid four times. So let's do that. Um, bid to slow, three, four and done. And once this is at 100% we can click on sell for the moment and then the stuff we just acquired gets sold so we get some additional money quest completed. Interact with Martha, we had that one already. You see some of the quests are kind of repetitive and now click on her face and exit this interface. And that's it. And now we're supposed to bid on the market 10 times. So typically it's good to go for the colored items. So like cotton, if we do click here, duplons are increased by 12%. As you can see, so the return once completing this deal is 73 gold. So obviously I click here and, and bid. And now I need to click here. I'm not sure, can I hold? Yeah, holding works as well. And I do as long as the quest completed thing comes up and then at some point I'm running out of money because bidding costs money but it's not a problem because the quest was already completed and now we are supposed to complete stage 1-4. I think our pirates are already at a rather high level but we don't have enough money that's interesting so let's check in our inventory in our bag if we have some of those silver hourglasses yes and we can use them, uh, we just take the whole maximum because we need a lot of money to, in order to progress in this game. And, and then we can complete stage 1-4. Try again, now we should have enough money. Yes, now it's no longer red and we click on sale and that starts the encounter. So whenever you run out of money, you cannot do what is requested then check in your inventory and see if you have some silver hourglasses that you could use or potentially even gold hourglasses which give a lot more money um, so both of them would work to refill money i mean the last option obviously would be to wait a couple of minutes or hours because as you saw earlier money gets automatically increased over time so if you wait an hour you will have 
and then log in back into the game you will have a lot of money so so money automatically piles up so typically it's not a matter of running out of money is more a matter of of waiting at some point so you see now our uh, strength is only slightly higher than the boss strength so that's a bit not so ideal so maybe i should have increased the strength before going in this encounter but I just wanted to give it a try to save some time. Maybe we get punished now, let's see. But since the strength is slightly higher, 10, 20% higher, I think the encounter still should work with a victory for us. We can see how the hit points from our opponent get depleted. So unfortunately he still has 104 hit points. So we need to move on to our next <laughs> pirate and now exactly what I uh, anticipated was happening so let's let's do a careful job and really before going into any of this encounter level up um, all of our pirates and as we see we are already at maximum level so that's interesting because there's really nothing we can do f at the moment at least to further increase our strengths so I guess the only option we have is to repeat uh, the fight. So let's do the challenge again. We, If this happens, we don't have to do the whole animation, but just the encounter. So let's keep fingers crossed that this time the fight goes a bit to our favors. There's an element of random. So now you see it has been going down to zero on the first boss. And let's see uh, if we are more lucky in this fight. Hopefully we are still on our pirate number one, our main character. Now he is dead, moving to Gunhild. And, and skipping, by the way, does not, does not work yet because we need to complete exactly this stage that we are in. It's the last stage uh, of this first set of stages. And this time we were lucky. Uh, it was a victory. So you see, these things can happen. And okay, we are only at 1-4. Quest completed, complete this stage, and then let's see, let's follow again uh, the guidance from the quest line. Plunder rate has to be increased, so that typically happens by increasing the sailor recruitments. So we go to the Baltic Sea outpost and just click on recruit. We are at 30 at the moment, so let's go to 50 or even 60 as long as we have enough money. 50 seems to be the maximum and we can cycle through here and also increase the number of sailors um, in the North Sea and now it says quest complete so we can go out and complete this quest as well. Now we are supposed to upgrade an outpost to level 3 so let's take the um, suggested one, the Baltic Sea, click on upgrade, it costs some of those but luckily we had enough of them and and that's it how they are called letter of mark okay so upgrade is done is it i'm confused no it seems we are not yet done why not i shouldn't talk and not watch the game too carefully so upgrade outpost to level three there are some rewards that we can collect. So let's do that. And then let's check uh, on our outposts on the map. Nasty is level 2. Baltic Sea is level 2. So both of them are at level 2. And ah, we need more sailors. We need to increase the number of sailors uh, in order to to do the upgrade okay so let's see here we have 41 in the north sea and in the baltic sea we have already 50 and what is required is 60 if i recall correctly 60 so we need to assign 10 more sailors um, to this uh, baltic sea outpost so let's click 10 times let's hope we have enough money to do so yes and now the upgrade the red circle appears on the upgrade tab. We also have enough of these letter of marquees. 14 are needed and then now upgrade should work. And by doing so, our bounty gets increased to 10 million. 
With that I will stop this first video. I hope you like it. If so, I'd be glad if you could give me a like or um, join my channel. Thank you and bye bye.